storm team weather. Here is Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Well, we had another slightly warm day with clear conditions this afternoon throughout the Concho Valley. We're going to watch for a chance for isolated showers continuing overnight into early tomorrow morning. Then our cold front comes through on Sunday for us, and then we're going to clear out and warm up as we go into next week. And yes, we are continuing to watch the tropics as we've had a very busy, active Atlantic hurricane season for the 2020 year. We're at 60 degrees right now at St. Angelo. That cloud cover is already starting to increase once again for us. It feels like 60, humidity is 72%. Winds are calm right now, pressure at 29.98 inches and steady out at Mathis Field here in St. Angelo, Texas. Temperatures across the region, 57 in Sterling City, same in Robert Lee, 59 in Grape Creek, 60 in St. Angelo, 63 in Wall, 65 in Menards, still warm, 71 in Junction, 66 in Sonora. And as we go into our Saturday, here's what we're looking at. A part like cloudy day. It's getting upwards of 80 degrees as we plan out our Saturday hour by hour. Starting out at 7 a.m. Still some cloudy conditions for us. Temperatures in the upper 60s. Then we start to see clearing around lunchtime and we get into the upper 70s and then we get into the low 80s by 5 o'clock with plenty of sunny conditions to end out our day on Saturday. Daytime highs over the next five days look like this. Temperatures in the 80s on Saturday then into the upper 60s low 70s on Sunday as a cold front swings through. And then we're going to be in the upper 70s as we go through the rest of next week into the middle of next week. Clouds and radar across the nation right now. Not a whole lot going on in the eastern half of the United States. A break from the rain for the eastern half of the United States. But we are seeing some showers pop up along in Oklahoma and portions of North Texas. And we even saw a few showers throughout the Concho Valley today. So let's take a look at our high-rise future cast as we go into early Saturday morning. We're not going to rule out any chance for ice isolated showers here in the Concho Valley, especially as we go into early Saturday morning. And not everybody's going to see a shower on Saturday morning. A lot of us are going to see mostly cloudy conditions overnight into early tomorrow morning. But a few of us could see an isolated shower throughout the Concho Valley all the way till, uh, till at least 10 o'clock tomorrow morning when we start to see some clearing here through the Concho Valley and then we'll start to clear out for the afternoon and the rest of our Saturday evening. Plenty of sunny conditions for us as we go through the end of the day on Saturday. Sunday, our cold front swings through. That brings highs into the 60s on Sunday. Next week, it'll be dry and warming up for us. Plenty of sunshine as we go through the middle and through the rest of next week. Looking pretty dry for now. So we'll keep it, we'll keep those rain chances out of the forecast for the rest of next week. Here's tropical storm Iota right now, 40 mile per hour winds, pressure at 1,006 millibars, moving south southwest at three miles per hour, and it's sitting in the Caribbean. Yes, going to have to watch this storm potentially becoming a category three hurricane. That's a major hurricane before making landfall in Central America, a place that's already been hard hit by tropical systems just in the past week. Tonight we get down to 59 degrees, mostly cloudy conditions. A slight chance of an isolated shower for our Saturday, 80 degrees, partly cloudy conditions, winds out of the southwest at 10 to 15, gusting to 25 at times. And as we take a look at the next five days here in the Concho Valley, we've got more sunshine to come in the week ahead with temperatures getting back into the 70s for us, morning lows in the 40s and 50s. We'll be back with more KCN News.